475 million dollars up for grabs in tonight's Mega Millions drawing. That's the ninth largest prize in the game's history. So what could you buy with all that money? How about more than 47 million terrible towels? Or you could order more than 60 million Primanti Brothers sandwiches. Channel 11 News reporter Serafina James breaks down your odds of hitting the jackpot. It's the ninth largest prize in Mega Millions history, and it's up for grabs Tuesday night, but surprisingly, store owners say those tickets aren't selling like they have in the past. It's a lot of money, but maybe not enough. That's sort of a beginning jackpot there. Robert Spihar, who owns Marshall Cigar, tells me the $475 million Mega Millions jackpot just isn't enough to entice his usual lotto customers. You'll be seeing some more ticket sales as the jackpot increases. The jackpot rolled to $475 million after no ticket matched all six numbers drawn last Friday. And if you're lucky enough to hit the jackpot, the estimated cash value is $319.4 million. Not enough jackpot right now. In the past, Quick Stop on Liberty Avenue has posted all winning tickets sold at their store, including one for $1.4 million. After that uh, similar check come, uh, people spend a lot of money, especially the older people. But on Tuesday, Quick Stop said their mega million ticket sales have been slow. If he goes over 500, people try to buy, you know, but right now it's like slow motion. The Mega Millions jackpot has not had a jackpot winner since mid-February, but Jerry Renz and 10 of his work buddies are taking their chances. A group of contractors all kicked in and we're all playing. We've been playing the last three weeks. And despite about a 1 in 302 million chance in matching all six numbers, some people are still feeling lucky. It's all luck. But the one thing for sure, if you don't, if you don't play, you definitely ain't going to win. <laughs> In Pittsburgh, Serafina James, Channel 11 News.